Well, thanks for waving the magic wand and revealing this very magical place. Here, you will find a charming collection of fun games and mystical activities. To start, just click on an object on the stage. But be careful, there may be some hidden surprises. One of which could be finding me. Oh, well, thanks for finding me. Oh, that cheeky blinky put me in this box. What's this? Wombo, Bombo, Combo, Wombo! Blinky, don't call me Wombo. Extraordinary! Welcome to my latest slideshow. I call it the magic of nature. Here you will find pictures showing just how magical the world around us can be. Use the magnifying glass to find a picture and then click the mouse button to see and hear more. This is a picture of our planet Earth from space. The swirling clouds show a huge storm, bigger than the state of Florida in America. This strange looking creature is the chameleon. The chameleon has a great magic trick. It can change color from green to yellow to dark brown, and that's without using a magic wand. Believe it or not, one day this creepy crawly caterpillar will change, as if by magic, into a beautiful butterfly that could flutter into your garden. A spider will work for hours to create a magical masterpiece. It's web. The spider's web is used like a net to catch its next dinner. This beautiful scene shows our sun setting on the ocean. The sun is a huge ball of fire that gives us day and night. <laughs> Quite a trick. Lightning can light up a whole town, but only for a second. Lightning flashes and sparks and then, after a few moments, comes the thunder. Autumn leaves. At the same time every year, the leaves of some trees change colour and fall to the ground. The trees then sleep through the winter, only to awaken spring with fresh green leaves. Out of nowhere the rainbow appears. It's a magical mixture of raindrops and sunshine. Can you name its seven colours? Here is a volcano. It is a mountain that explodes, sending rock and smoke far into the sky. It also creates magical rivers of hot, burning rock called lava. 
This almost looks like a fireworks display. Or maybe it's hundreds of eyes all looking at you. But these are the dazzling feathers of a bird called the peacock. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? One morning, Blinky Bill and the gang were on their way to school when they saw something unusual. Someone had put up a large tent in the middle of Green Patch Park. This must be the Great Zapparoni, said Blinky excitedly. He's a magician. He's having this magic show tonight. found any surprises yet? Use the pointer and click around the page. I reckon we could sneak inside and nobody would know. M -m 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 Magicians don't frighten m -m -m me. Well, not much. Actually, if I were a magician, I'd turn Miss Magpie into a banana. It's extraordinary, <laughs> but a, a, a bit creepy. Oh, anyone can do this magic stuff. It's easy peasy. Watch this. <laughs> Excitedly. When the lesson began, Miss Magpie said, Now, I'll show you some movie magic. The magic of arithmetic. As the class groaned and complained, Blinky thought he would help Miss Magpie along. I wonder what this button does? Asked Blinky. Oh, you've done. 
done it again. I didn't know arithmetic could be so exciting. Miss Magpie wasn't too happy, I can tell you. She told everyone to go home at once. But Blinky and his gang had other ideas about where to go. Inside the gloomy tent, Blinky Bill and his gang stood in amazement. What's in here? said Blinky. Uh -oh. <coughs> the other cabinet opened and out stepped the great Zapparoonie. You let all my assistants escape. You will take their places for the show tonight. Make sure you're not late tonight, or I might turn you all into parsnips. I know that voice. I've heard it before. I wonder who it is. Nor me. Nor me. Nor me. You already are a platypus. Oh, blimey. So I am. Blinky Bill and his friends were so frightened of the magician that they pasted his posters all over Green Patch. Ooh, you can't put those posters in my cafe, Ooh, yelled Gloop. Blinky replied, oh, Don't worry, these aren't posters, they're, um, tablecloths. Ooh, oh, that's different then. Ooh, carry on, said Gloop. <laughs> are great. I reckon they sort of match the rest of the cafe. Marcy, do you have to paste that thing on my stomach? Why not? It's the biggest surface I can find. <laughs> Blinky Bill. You did this. Yum! This tastes like vanilla custard. Ooh, it'd go real well with ice cream. Ooh, Blinky, I don't think I've ever seen you work so hard. Ooh. Blinky Bill, I know you're behind this. Thank you.
Back at the tent, the great Zapparuni greeted two visitors, the Dingoes, Meatball and Shifty. You know what to do, whispered the magician. Tonight, while everyone in Green Patch is here watching the show, you go to their homes and steal lots of yummy party food. Then we can have the best midnight feast. I'm so clever, I sometimes even surprise myself. Midnight feast? Oh, wow. It's almost worth it being a bad guy. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. There's only one thing I like better than a party. And that's a midnight feast party. Blinky Bill was very pleased with himself for finding such a lovely empty space to paste the posters. He called out happily, Hey gang, even the birds can see the posters now! Then suddenly the old roof gave way and Blinky Bill, Nutsy, Splodge and Marcia crashed through the ceiling. After that, Blinky decided that it would be a smart move if he and the gang hid in the bush until night time. It should be safe then to come out and take part in the magic show. So that evening, everyone came to see the magic show. Blinky Bill and his gang were there assisting the strange magician. You could hear Blinky's voice a mile away. Famous Super Duper Alley Uber Great Zapparoni Magic Show. Get your tickets now or you'll be sorry. Roll up! Roll up! One place. Oh, is it anywhere you like, madam? One place. Oh, is it anywhere you like, madam?
Meatball and Shifty moved quietly through the empty town and stole creaming soda, pink milk, lemonade, sherbet, plum pudding, strawberry shortbreads, orange sponge cakes, chocolate eclairs, hundreds and thousand sandwiches, cream buns, apple pies, vanilla slices, iced cupcakes and sugar frosted biscuits. <laughs> Hard work, shifty old buddy. I'm so full, I can hardly move. Mm. Yeah, this is tough work, meatball old buddy. Oh, but somebody's got to do it. So, while Meatball and Shifty stole food, the mysterious Zappa Rooney began his magic show with the help of Blinky and his gang. Inside the tent, everyone watched as the great Zappa Rooney began his trick of sawing Nutsy in two. But as he started sawing through the wooden box, many different heads, tails, and feet began popping out of the holes. <laughs> The audience laughed as the box collapsed, and Blinky Bill, Nutsy, Flap and Marcia fell out. You clowns! You've ruined my most famous trick! I wonder what it would have been like with two half nutsies walking around. I don't know about you, but that was getting a bit too cosy in there for my liking. Meanwhile, Meatball and Shifty were at the rabbit's house. By now, their sacks were so full that they could hardly lift them. They tried not to wake the babysitter or any of the sleeping children. While they weren't looking, one of the baby rabbits woke up and crept into Meatball's sack. Oh, I know how 
you feel all night? I've been trying out all the drinks. I'm not feeling too good, shifty old mate. Oh, I think I've uh, tested too many cakes. Oh. Aha! A new burrow. I wonder what's in here. It's full of lovely food. Meatball and Shifty staggered into the tent with their sacks. You're not supposed to come back till midnight, said Zap Peruni. I do know that voice, yelled Blinky, and he pulled Zap Peruni's beard off, revealing the face of Danny Dingo. Caught you at last, roared a near naked stranger. I am the real Zap Peruni. You may have stolen my clothes, but you can't steal my magic. I hope that teaches you. Don't mess with magic. I hope that teaches you, don't mess with magic. I could eat a loaf of bread under water. I can hardly stand up. I haven't eaten for nearly half an hour. Strike! <laughs> All this excitement's made me realise I'm hungry.
now the mystery was solved, Blinky's thoughts turned to food. We can't waste all this food, said Blinky. We should have our own feast. And as Blinky went to open a bag, he saw something move inside. Realising what it was, he exclaimed, Hey, watch me pull a rabbit out of this sack! <laughs> Extraordinary! <laughs> Well, wasn't that a great story? If you think you can do them, you can try the memory games by clicking on the crystal ball. Can you help Zapparuni finish this trick? He made all these things disappear, but now he can't remember where they came from. Can you remember who used what in the story? Use the mouse to click and drag each item to its correct owner. Megaphone. Megaphone. <laughs> Thanks! Now everyone will hear me a whole lot better! Paintbrush. Oh, that's amazing magic. Can you now magically put up all the posters? <laughs> Money bag. Oh, thank you. I hope none of the money has disappeared. Sack of cake. Ah, uh, thanks. I would have been in real trouble if I didn't get those cakes back. Ah, that was a great help. Now, why not try another game? Can you help Zapparuni finish this trick? He made all these things disappear, but now... Bucket, bucket, bucket. Gee, thanks! Now I can get back to putting up the posters! <laughs> Megaphone. <laughs> thanks! Money back. Oh, thank you! Paintbrush. Oh, that's amazing magic. Can you now magically put up all the posters? <laughs> ah, that was a great help. Now, why not try another game? All these cards have lost their numbers. Using the mouse, click and drag a number from the bottom of the screen onto the matching card. See what happens when all the cards are numbered. Three. Two. Three. Six. Nine. Well done. Now let's try another game. Can you find the hidden numbers in Zapparuni's tent? Use the mouse to click on the numbers from 1 to 10 in their correct order. And watch what happens to Zapparuni. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! Good counting. Now, why not try another game? Can you help the great Zapparuni pull a $2 coin from behind Blinky's ear? Use a mouse to click and drag the correct coin and put it in Zapparuni's pocket. dollar coin. Very good. Now, let's try another game. Can you help Zapparuni with his magic scarves trick? Use the mouse to click and drag the correct scarf 
and put it in Zapparoni's magic box. But you must put them in the box in the following order. Blue, green, yellow, red. Well done. Can you tell which animals are hiding in Zapparuni's magic box? Use the mouse to click on the names of the animals you can see. Em <coughs> Possum Dingo <coughs> Cockatoo Ooh. Echidna Ooh. Platypus Possum. Well done. Now let's find another game. Uh oh, the great Zapparuni has forgotten the end of his magic spell. Help him to remember by choosing a rhyming word to finish the spell. Use the mouse to click on the correct word below that will finish the rhyme. Magic tricks and scary scenes. Blinky Bill likes jelly. Ba donuts. Donuts. Ooh. Beans. Magic tricks and scary scenes. Blinky Bill likes jelly beans. Good rhyming. Now, a new game we should be finding. The Great Zapparuni is having trouble remembering which animal is which on his magic flashcards. Can you help him remember? As the cards pop out of his hat, use the mouse to click on the animal card that matches the name below. Snake. Well done. Snake. Koala. Keep looking. Well done, koala. Platypus. Well done, platypus. Can you find the total of these cards? Find the answer from the numbers below and drag the correct number into the box. Six. Nine. Good counting. Now, try something else. Welcome back. What would <coughs> So, you need some help. Listen, and I will tell you how everything works. When you move the wall. Welcome to the maze game. Click on easy or hard to start. It's amazing how easy it is to forget things. Blinky Bill has left his swag behind. Can you find your way through this maze by using the mouse pointer to guide the swag back to Blinky? You do not need to click the mouse button. Just position the pointer ahead of where you want it.
Welcome back. What would you like to do next? Click on this and you can see some magical moments from around the world. Well, thanks for dropping in. See you next time. Bye now.